So what's good, y'all? Damn, I haven't did this in a minute. <laughs> what's good, you guys? This is your boy Nabari back again with another video today. I'm doing the review on the Shut F7 VTD. Yeah, I played like half a season with this helmet. You can see all the battle scars on it. <laughs> so the reason why I bought this helmet in the first place was because I wanted to make the transition back into Shut. My first unboxing video on this channel was of the Shut Air XP. I just love the original look. Every year, I checked the Virginia Tech football helmet ratings and this was like in the top five. Put this on real quick for you guys. All right, first thing I'm gonna talk about is how comfortable this helmet is. Real comfortable. Some helmets, you'll feel like the pads on your forehead or in the back of your head sometimes, and it could get annoying, but with this, I didn't feel it like that. I had some helmets where I would even feel it on the side, like the pad on the side or by the ear. It was just uncomfortable, but this one, real comfortable. Have it on, even when you strap it up, everything is good. Next thing I wanna talk about is, you know, doing the assembling and stuff. Me. I'm a person who always puts on my visor, takes off my visor, change up the face mask. It's easy, you know what I'm saying? I took off the little twist lock and put the regular ones on there so I could put my visors in because some visors is difficult to put on when you have that on there. And um, even when you change the face mask, I was having issues with the speed flex when there's a part right up here and the whole mechanism, the quick release mechanism, it was difficult. Sometimes it didn't want to click in for me. I would waste a whole bunch of time just trying to get that thing to click in and it got real annoying. All right, now we're gonna talk about the protection. You guys probably can't see it that well, but the padding in here is real, real good. I know in the unboxing video, I was talking smack saying that this helmet was huge, but most companies, they make their helmets huge so they could put as much padding as they can in there to protect your head. I'm gonna just do a disclaimer real quick. I don't care how high these helmets rate or what these companies tell you, football helmets can't 100% prevent concussions. Concussions are not 100% preventable. The technology and the padding that they put in these helmets like give you a high chance of not getting one. That's all I can say about that, but the protection is good. I took some headshots, blocking linebackers, the usual, and I didn't feel a thing, which is weird. You always get that one hit that you was like, oh damn, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't had that yet with this helmet, knock on wood. <laughs> And the last thing I'm going to talk about with this helmet is just the look, bro. I like my little two bar with the pacifier, you know, <laughs> that's the original look. That's the look I always wanted to go for, you know, college. I did it my first year with the Thundercats. I did it. I had the Air XP, same kind of look. It's old school with the new school upgrades. <laughs> that's how I could explain it. This thing comfortable, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Turn to the side real quick. Some of y'all may look big, but it's comfortable. So when it comes to the size, I always wear a large helmet. I didn't even put air or take air out of this helmet. Like it fit comfortably as soon as I put it on. Check that out, man. This helmet look clean. I wanna say it costs like four or 500 bucks, maybe even 600, depends on where you're getting it. If you guys have the budget, get this helmet. Get this helmet, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's the video, you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys next video. Ooh.